What's happening? How we doing? We good? Hell yeah, that's cool. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, I'm from Detroit. Where you from, sir? Venice Beach. Venice Beach? <laughs> you sound homeless. You keep yelling shit out the whole time. Man. <laughs> Venice Beach, he rode his bike up here. That's cool. All right, player. What's your name, Jorge? No, what's your name? Pancho. Pa okay, I was close. I was close. Nice to meet you, Pancho. Right on, man. Hell yeah. Pancho, cool. Venice Beach. You ever been to Detroit? I've been here once. Okay, did you like it? I see some, a lot of cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got a lot of cars there. <laughs> Yep. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Bancho, cheers, man. Congratulations if you're drinking, if you can handle yourself. I can't. I get, I get drunk and try to fuck everybody. Standards start off high, and then the more I'm drinking, I'm like, who's still in the building? But, <laughs> as long as she wet and willing, that's a win for me. She could be missing the ear. I'm bragging. I'm like, baby girl trying to get down. My homie like, she don't have no ears. Like, say what you want. I'm putting up numbers tonight, baby. <sighs> I got a two-year-old daughter. <laughs> she loved my life, man. It's crazy. It was a blessing when she came into the world, man. I didn't know what I was going to... I was, a, I was a big hoe, man. I didn't know what I was... <laughs> But I was gonna name her because I had fucked all the names. <laughs> like, what can I call her? Darius Jr. or something? <laughs> her mom was like, how about Britney? Like, everybody know Britney for the street, baby. I can't call her that. She's like, Tiffany? I'm like, Tonsil Tiffany? You fucking crazy. So I named her Zariah. It's like Mariah, but with a Z. It's a pretty name. It's just sad. I had to go all the way to the Z's to fucking come up with the name. Been with everybody from Ashley to Yolanda. I done ran through them, man. But it was fun, I guess. I was a wild boy back in the day, especially in Detroit. Detroit is crazy, man. Well, now it's nice. There's a lot of gentrification, so a lot of white people. You know what I mean? You, you be safe over there. It's a lot of... A lot of but before I, before I moved, gentrification didn't happen. So like, to not get killed, you gotta look like the killer as a defense mechanism to blend in. You don't wanna be an easy target. And you wouldn't know a person's true sexuality because of that. And then I moved out here in LA and it was a culture shock, man. Like nobody out here is in the closet. They just in the middle of the living room with the shit. <laughs> Very progressive place. I'm like, yes, what's up? Be who you are. It could be a lot if you're not ready. I wasn't ready for it. Random man told me to smile once. I, I said, I said, yeah, I think that's enough gay shit for me this week. I think that's enough. He was so aggressive. He like, smile, bro, you look so mean. Let me see your mouth. I said, no, you, you sexually harassing me, sir. I needed the shit to happen though, because I used to be one of the men to tell women to smile all the time. I didn't realize how creepy it was. I didn't, I'm sorry ladies. We be thinking it's all right, we see an attractive woman, we look so much better if you smile, don't do that bro. And you don't realize how creepy it is until somebody who you don't want to fuck tell you to smile. I was at the job, I said, hey walk me to my car man, you on some bullshit bro. Well, trying to fuck me, man. I clenched my purse and everything, man. I ain't even had one, but I clenched it. I got real tight. <laughs> Shit, wow, man. You gotta treat these women right, bro. Treat your woman right. It's so hard on the lady out here, man. I be learning that because I got a two-year-old daughter. Y'all finally got equal pay. What is it? OnlyFans or something? <laughs> so jacked up, man. Treat them right. We, men can't take the pain that women can. That's why they give birth and, and we don't, man. We don't know how to deal with things and emotions because they tell us we can't. We acting like a bitch if we get to crying. But we acting like a human. Everybody got feelings and emotions, but you got to hold it in. That's why we be dying earlier than women do, man. We be suppressing it deep down inside. Women come together and cry as a recreational activity like it's fun. 
and they go see a sad movie, a happy movie, and be crying like that's a good act, like like it's a sport or something. Fellas, we go to the bar. We be like, who want a shot? You want a shot? You want a shot? You see somebody like that, be like, that motherfucker's sad, bro. Motherfucker's sad. He going through something. <laughs> you gotta let that shit out, bro. We be holding it in. You so rough and you be ready to walk to the edge and try to fly sometime. You gotta tell your homie like, hey bro, don't jump. You, you try crying today. You gotta let it out. Somebody wanna suck your dick out there. They ain't gonna do it if you dead, bro, I'm telling you. You think they be fucking dead bodies at the morgue a little bit? Huh? You think they be fucking dead bodies at the morgue? It's called necrophilia. They got. They gotta be doing it if there's a term for it. I feel like it's men. Ain't no women sucking no dead dicks out there. They ain't gonna bust in on Brenda like, what you doing? Like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to revive him a little bit. <laughs> you would catch John, his pants at his ankles like, bro, what's going on? Like, oh, shit. You gotta push the body back into the cooler. Like, please, bro, I need this job, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> we terrible, man. We are terrible. Oh, Men are jacked up. Treat your woman right, man. Oh, it's weirdos out here. Hey, fellas, you should never hit your lady in public. <laughs> People don't know what type of relationship you in. You could be a, a freak. Everybody in the world got a fantasy, but like, you know, like BDSM, that shit hard to explain at the bus stop, bro. <laughs> you strike your lady, everybody thinking she under attack. They don't know, this is the way that she been all day, cause y'all weird like that. You go to their house and they got a dog bowl on the floor and they don't even have a dog. She make him lick water out that bowl while she peg him in the ass. That's how he come. He feel less of a man because of that. So to make him feel like he got dominance in a relationship, she agreed to allow him to publicly punch you in the head twice a week. That's why you shouldn't hit your lady. People gonna think you like your asshole play with. I don't know. It's weirdos out here. If you weird, be weird. Let a person know, let a person know subtly, not suddenly, and be like, look at all this shit. I was used to the regular, like, you want to spice some shit up? Like, pull my hair, like, all right, cool, or choke me. Cause you still got eye contact, so it's still kind of intimate. She's like, I'm coming. He'd be like, shut up, mm, I love you. Like, this woman introduced me to something. I'm like, this is illegal. I should not be doing this shit. So we doing the regular joint, right? And she turned over and was like, club me. And I, I said, what, what, what you talking about? She like, punch me. So I, I, I had to punch her in the kidneys, man. And, yeah, then she started squirting. And I'm like, yo, who did this shit to you? You gotta go see somebody about this. She was like, keep going. I'm like, no, I'm not about to keep going. This shit is weird. She was like, you a little bitch or something? You a pussy? So now I'm socking her in the kidneys, bro. My dick soft as hell right now. And she's like, oh my God, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to jail like a motherfucker, bro. I'm about to catch a battery charge trying to get this lady to come. She's like, I love you so much. I said, turn that camera on to say that shit into the camera since you love me like that, bro. All right, man, I gotta go. I'm Darius Bennett. Thank you. <laughs>